Global climate engineering, geoengineering, solar radiation management programs have been wreaking havoc with Earth's climate and life support systems for over 70 years. Illegal climate intervention programs have long since completely derailed natural climate processes, and these programs are still being ramped up further. The entire climate science community and weather reporting agencies continue to betray populations, the environment, and the planet as a whole by their criminal denial of the climate engineering assault. This water vapor loop was captured on December 4th, 2017, the day the latest round of California firestorms ignited. The extremely anomalous concentration of wind currents is a result of what meteorologists have labeled the, quote, ridiculously resilient ridge that has constantly formed over the western U.S. in recent years. This ridge is a direct result of high-pressure zones created by ionosphere heater installations like the HARP installation in Glucona, Alaska. In this image, also captured on December 4th, 2017, the geoengineered high-pressure dome can easily be seen pushing any and all moisture and potentially cooler temperatures well out into the Pacific off the coast of California. In this animation of atmospheric moisture, the usual flow of cool Pacific air and potential precipitation for California appears to be hitting a wall of resistance off the U.S. west coast again. This is a direct result of an ionosphere heater induced high pressure dome. This is part of geoengineering. This wind pattern animation loop from December 5th is also revealing. Extremely anomalous wind patterns along the high pressure dome boundary are very evident and inarguable. This NASA satellite image clearly reveals just how powerful the offshore winds were from the ionosphere heater induced high pressure dome. Though there are many agendas behind the climate engineering and near-constant jet aircraft atmospheric aerosol spraying, one of the primary objectives has been and is the temporary cooling off of some regions at the expense of creating often record high temperatures in other regions. Wherever there is enough moisture, patented chemical ice nucleation materials are now constantly being used by the geoengineers sprayed by jet aircraft into that moisture above cloud cover. Why? To temporarily create a cool, dense layer of air that reduces Earth's surface temperatures. The result is rapidly worsening extreme weather whiplash scenarios. This NOAA departure from normal high temperature map was the scheduled extreme weather imbalance for December 3rd through December 7th. Fast forward several days to this NOAA scheduled weather map for December 9th through the 13th. This map reveals a complete reversal of the previous week's temperature anomalies. The climate engineers are now pulling the levers of Earth's climate system. At what cost to the planet and the web of life does this manipulation come? The most populated regions of the eastern U.S. have been a consistent target for the temporary and toxic climate engineering cooldowns. Masking the rapidly unfolding planetary meltdown is, again, a primary agenda for the geoengineers. This recording of radio frequency microwave transmissions coming from a facility near Beale Air Force Base in California was captured on November 15th, 2017. Wave after wave of incoming precipitation from the Pacific is effectively being blown apart and scattered from the transmission source. Facilities like this are all over the country and all over the world. The climate engineers can effectively disrupt precipitation patterns as they choose. Articles like this one from December 5th, 2017 are the method by which the climate engineers are making clear the fact that they plan to continue making California into a climate sacrifice zone or a target. All such reports ultimately come from weather modeling done by the National Weather Service and NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which in turn means defense contractor Raytheon, which in turn means a primary climate engineering patent holder and contractor, which Raytheon is. Again, all available data on climate engineering confirms the fact that the geoengineers can block precipitation from wherever they choose for as long as they choose. This Weather Channel jet stream map was produced a significant time before the anomalous weather events of the latest California firestorm. Yet, the latest freeze-fry weather whiplash scenario for the U.S. is fully scripted and shown on this map. 
the massive ionosphere heater-induced high-pressure dome in the U.S. West, labeled, quote, again, the ridiculously resilient ridge, will continue to block moisture from California until the geoengineers decide otherwise. Remember where all weather modeling for the National Weather Service at NOAA comes from. Again, private defense contractor and geoengineering patent holder Raytheon. All the rest of the so-called forecasting agencies are reading from the same script. The fight to expose and halt climate engineering is nothing less than a fight for life. Geoengineering climate intervention programs are not only completely derailing and tearing apart Earth's climate systems, the toxic fallout is contaminating the entire planet and every breath we take. All of us are needed in this all-important battle to reach a critical mass of awareness. Only then will we have a real chance at halting the insanity in our skies. Make your voice heard. This is Dane Wigington with geoengineeringwatch.org.